and uh, happy to say that uh, my son will be on stage at Conestoga High School tonight. He's uh, one of the leads in Thoroughly Modern Millie. Mm -hmm. And his girlfriend has built up the voice choir for five years, and uh, so he's well trained. <laughs> uh, I just passed around uh, the <laughs> uh, social insurance you know Aging population. Yes, sir. Baby boomers. I'm towards the end. I'll be 50. So, even though we live longer, if you live to 65, I'm behind my center. eye, I ended up down at Will's eye at Jefferson. They went through my legs, mm -hmm. through my heart with catheters, and they glued closed an artery. Everybody's age, and that includes my spouse and my children, and $25,000 is what our premium would be. I told you how old I was. I told you about my son. Good chance uh, you're going to need to put a new roof on. Good chance you're going to have to reinvest in how do you win the health care game. And I called it. They said, nope, we're going to go back to a fee for service. And uh, and so your pay and you can pay for services pre-tax and all the money's there that you promised to put in over the course of a year trips out of your pay. That business, um, Irene, you anticipate that really only once in every five years, like has been with my family, you're going to have a bad health care year. It is not comprehensive. In fact, there was a law passed in 1988, signed into, uh, I, won't, I won't make you answer which president this was, 1984, we're talking almost 150000 here with reasonable inflation, to wrap around Medicare because Medicare is not that general.